Hey guys, Mike Troll, Amsoil Dealer, 1463115. And today, I'm trying to get back out here on the 89 Ford Mustang, five liter. If you go back, I've got videos on this car for from probably a year or more ago. Um, long story short, I thought the problem was in the fuel system, the fuel injectors, and turns out it was the capacitors in my computer. So. I had those redone by the EFI guy. I'm gonna to try to find his info and link that down below. So he redid my computer, resoldered in new capacitors, and I got that in. I just haven't had time, guys, with life and family and working a lot of hours driving a truck. But uh, so here we are. I've got the computer back in. I've got. A battery this is not a new battery but it should work um, and so what we're gonna do now the car is not ready to try to start what we want to do is turn the key and see if the fuel pump will cycle on for a couple seconds build fuel pressure and shut off because when this problem started the fuel pump was running constantly but the injectors were not firing so that's what we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot all right, so here's kind of the moment of truth. I hope we're gonna be able to hear this. Um, I'm gonna turn the key. Actually, I forgot to reconnect my battery. And so, I'm gonna actually reconnect my battery now. A long time. Well, there we go. So we put power to everything. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but we're going to go ahead and turn the key and try to listen for the fuel pump. I didn't hear it, but let's go look at my fuel pressure gauge under the hood. Let's go look here. So, my fuel pressure is only like 30 something huh you know what I might need okay so I'm gonna kill I'm gonna turn it off and try it one more time all right now let's go see what we're looking at for fuel pressure yeah we got 38 something like that 37 so I think we're in good shape because I don't hear the fuel pump running constantly like it was before. So guys, I I got to say this is encouraging and this has this has been a long kind of I just kind of gotten out of it and it's hard to get back into it. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So if we look under the hood just real quick, I'm going to connect my fuel system uh, my heater core has been bypassed for a long time and we're going to use this hose that I found on Amazon a long time ago, two different sizes to uh, go on my heater hoses. I got eight brand new, I believe they were Excel injectors and a brand new fuel pressure regulator and I changed out a couple of the sensors too. So basically, I'm going to replace some vacuum lines put my upper intake back on and hopefully get this thing going. Thanks guys. And I do sell the Amsoil Synthetics through my website, number1synthetic.com. And I will put those links down below in the first comment. And uh, Amsoil is like the best synthetic oil. I've been using it since 06 and a dealer since 07. So please check out my links down below in the first comment and subscribe and share to see more on this Mustang and more about uh, AMSOIL and fluid changes. 100% synthetic. 